Hello and welcome to Indep. I'm Tina Jha. YC Deveshwar, the chairman of the ITC Group, passed away on Saturday. He was the company's longest-serving CEO and the man who is credited with helping ITC to diversify into a multinational company. Under his leadership, ITC diversified from a cigarette major to other sectors that include FMCG, hotels, paper boards, agriculture, and many others. His tenure saw a 50-fold rise in market capitalization of the company to nearly 3 lakh 50 thousand crore rupees. Deveshwar took charge at a time when ITC Limited was facing tax demands and an alleged probe for foreign exchange violations. Within two years of taking charge, Deveshwar cut losses and redrew plans for ITC to foray into the new business segments. He went on to develop world-class Indian brands that created value for the country. He made ITC a household name with as many as 25 mother brands, including Ashirwad, Bingo, Classmate, among others. His focus on sustainable and inclusive growth for all stakeholders has been acclaimed globally. His e-chopal is one such initiative. In depth today, takes a look at YC Deveshwar, the man and his legacy. and the enduring concepts that he championed to make brand india a global entity noted industry leader and itc chairman yc deveshwar who transformed the cigarette company into a diversified player with interests in fmcg hospitality it and other sectors passed away last week after a brief illness let's take a look at his work and legacy itc's longest serving chairman yogesh chandra deveshwar passed away on saturday leaving behind a rich legacy an alumnus of iit delhi and harvard business school Deveshwar joined ITC in 1968 and was appointed director on the company's board in 1984. He rose to become its chief executive and chairman in 1996. Deveshwar stepped down from an executive role as chairman and CEO in 2017 but remained as a non-executive chairman. Also one of the longest serving top executives of a corporate entity in India, Deveshwar was responsible for transforming ITC from mainly a cigarette maker into a diversified establishment with interests in FMCG, hospitality, paper, agribusiness, information technology among others. Established in 1910 as the Imperial Tobacco Company of India Limited, the company was renamed India Tobacco Company Limited in 1970 and later ITC Limited in 1974. It was rechristened ITC Limited in September 2001. The company completed 100 years in 2010 and as of 2012-2013 had an annual turnover of 8.31 billion US dollars and a market capitalization of 50 billion US dollars. ITC employs over 30,000 people at more than 60 locations across India. Worked with people, he got people around the table, consensus builder, and frankly, this anti-smuggling drive and you know making sure that India benefits from this India First was another thing which he actually put forward. Uh, he supported Fiki in a lot of ways, including setting up a whole Cascade initiative, which ITC supports to this day. so is a very very differing you know people say a towering personality i think it fitted him in, in, in to a large extent when deveshwar took charge in the mid 1990s itc was confronted with formidable challenges with diversification efforts either failing or languishing the company's revenue was less than 5200 crore rupees and profit before tax stood at 452 crore rupees In 2017-18 the company posted revenues of 44,329.77 crore rupees and a net profit of 11,223.25 crore rupees. In a statement ITC managing director Sanjeev Puri said Deveshwar passionately championed the cause for sustainable and inclusive growth and the transformative role businesses could play in creating larger societal value. 
His vision drove ITC to pursue business models that today support over 6 million livelihoods, many amongst the weakest in society. Puri is also likely to take over the role of chairman. A recipient of Padma Bhushan, one of the highest civilian awards in the country in 2011, Deveshwar also played his part in nation building, taking up various roles in several institutions. He served as a director on the Central Board of the Reserve Bank of India, as a member of the National Foundation for Corporate Governance and was a member of the governing body of the National Council of Applied Economic Research. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and several other political leaders have mourned Deveshwar's death. Prime Minister Modi mentioned his contributions to the Indian industry and said his efforts helped in making ITC a professionally run Indian company with a global footprint. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee called him a giant in the corporate world. Industrialist Naveen Jindal said his demise is a big loss to India Inc. and the nation. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. With a corporate philosophy of let's put India first, Yogesh Chandra Deveshwar led the ITC's strategic thrust to create an exemplary Indian enterprise dedicated to serving national priorities. YCD, as he was popularly called, headed the diversification of the conglomerate to an FMCG company. His colleague Sanjeev Puri claims that Deveshwar's vision drove the company to pursue business models that today support more than 6 million livelihoods, many amongst the weakest in society. Here's a detailed report about a man whose initiative made a significant contribution to the Indian economy. Legends live on to become a beacon that brightens the lives of all it touches. This is how Yogesh Chandra Deveshwar is described by Sanjeev Puri, his colleague in ITC for over two decades. Puri says Deveshwar not only scripted a remarkable transformation of ITC, but also inspired a journey to create larger value while addressing national priorities. Inspired by a patriotic fervor that is so transparent in his call of Let's Put India First, Deveshwar led ITC's strategic thrust to create an exemplary Indian enterprise dedicated to serve the nation. He drove ITC to pursue business models that today support over 6 million livelihoods. At the core was his belief that India needed to build national champions in business. His vision was to have corporations with an Indian soul, irrespective of the source of capital, that invest in creating world-class Indian brands. These companies would create productive capacity in national assets and promote responsible competitiveness by nourishing the environment and supporting sustainable livelihoods. Deveshwar strongly believed that such national champions were much better positioned to create larger value for the country in all the years to come. He was uh, really a visionary for industry. Um, he, he always thought out of the box, uh, his primary focus in agriculture, uh, you know, many people forget that tobacco is actually an agricultural product. But the diversification also meant diversifying out from tobacco in agriculture. You know, and, he, and he founded the ITC Agro with Shiva Kumar there and that whole e chopal movement has become a global story in itself he talk, he was the first one to talk uh, of trip and bottom line becoming carbon positive becoming water positive and generally you know uh, giving back more than you took from nature and also extending that to society so all of his corporate social responsibility and his whole approach is you know how uh, can he use the entire organization uh, and the you know, conglomerate that he's building uh, to contribute to society. This strength of conviction was manifest in many ways, says Puri, as he quotes the instance of how each Opal was conceived. Each Opal was ITC's initiative to link farmers through the internet to procure farm and fishery produce. The team was seeking 1 crore rupees as investment to try the idea as a pilot. But they themselves had more questions than answers 
since it was untested model but deveshwar saw potential in the idea he saw that it would serve the national priority of empowering farmers create strong agri and rural value chains and be a vital source of strength for the foods business in the future the team finally went back with 10 crore rupees with the task to build an iconic rural platform for india according to idc each opal today empowers over 4 million farmers and is a case study at harvard university and other globally reputed business schools opal there are more than 6100 each opals all over the country serving almost 4 million farmers and what he is doing uh, what the each opal is doing each opal provides all kind of information to farmers each opal also helps the farmers to procure seeds fertilizers and other thing at a cheaper price and at the end of day it is also sourcing the produce from the farmer from their doorstep so the cost of production is low and cost of selling the produ- produce is also low so it is benefiting the farmer it is also benefiting the manufacturing sector because whatsoever produce he is taking uh, the com- uh, each opal is taking itc is processing that for exporting that thing so that is also promoting manufacturing similar was the case with itc's afforestation initiative to provide fiber for india's paper industry today itc's paper boats business is the largest and most profitable in india besides being an exemplar in sustainability creating over 7 lakh acres of plantations and 130 million person days of employment these were only a few examples of deveshwar's bold decisions the power of india's first is also evident in the repositioning of itc's b national brand the itc team was clear they would create a superior product with fruits sourced from farmers in india and not from imported concentrate according to puri deveshwar had the rare ability to strategically think through fresh ideas incubate them and then provide support with itc's institutional strengths while energizing the organization to rapidly scale up with agility bureau report rajya sabha tv time for a short break on the program we'll be right back watch the big picture with me frank rausen perera at 6:30 pm tales that inspire stories of social change a salute to diversity promoting public discourse events that motivate inspiring the innovative spirit watch rajya sabha television documentaries Tagore was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913 for his book Gitanjali. In 1950 he composed the music and lyrics for India's national anthem Jana Gana Mana. And when Bangladesh became independent in 1971 they chose Tagore's song Amar Sonar Bangla as its national anthem. Tagore's life and works have made him a cultural icon, studied the world over even into the 21st century. EVM yani electronic voting machine इस मशीन में दो यूनिट होती हैं एक मतदान अधिकारी के पास और दूसरी कंपार्टमेंट के अंदर जहां से आप मतदान करते हैं ईवीएम को चलाने के लिए बिजली की जरूरत नहीं होती क्योंकि ये चलती है बैटरी से 
एक ईवीएम मशीन में अधिकतर 3840 वोट दर्ज हो सकते हैं लेकिन अमूमन किसी एक मतदान केंद्र पर लगभग 1500 मतदाता ही वोट डालते हैं हर ईवीएम में 16 उम्मीदवार के नाम जोड़े जा सकते हैं अगर उम्मीदवार ज्यादा हो तो और मशीनों को जोड़ा जाता है इस तरह चार मशीनों तक को जोड़ा जा सकता है ईवीएम की खास बात यह है कि इससे बूथ कैप्चरिंग काफी मुश्किल है क्योंकि मशीन में एक मिनट में सिर्फ पांच वोट ही डाले जा सकते हैं Lakhan the legendary maestro who brought Chennai to the center stage of Indian classical music in 1937 With his heart touching rendering of rag rafi ustad mesmerized millions of hearts on the eve of the first republic day But most significant was when India achieved independence and Bismillah Khan performed from the ramparts of the Red Fort on 15th August 1947 Ustad Bismillah Khan was awarded India's highest civilian award Bharat Ratna Thanks for staying with us on Rajya Sabha TV YC Deveshwar was ranked the 7th best performing CEO in the world in the global scorecard of 100 best performing CEOs across the world published by the Harvard Business Review. Not only this, he was also conferred with the prestigious Padma Bhushan award. YC Deveshwar served as the chairman of ITC for over 2 decades the company's longest serving chairman YCD as he is popularly known leaves behind a huge legacy at ITC in industry and in the society his vision extended beyond the corporate staple of top lines and bottom lines He wanted ITC to be known as an entity that looked at the creation of sustainable livelihoods and value chains that would help society and enrich the environment. Thus, his speeches very frequently revolve around the terms like water positive, carbon positive and solid waste recycling positive, despite the group's increased investments in water and energy incentive segments like paper boat or even hotels. He was instrumental in expanding ITC's business beyond tobacco and warding off a takeover threat by British American Tobacco. So if you look at uh, Mr. YC Deveshwar, you know, after passing out of IIT Delhi, um, he joined the corporate sector and was one of the few uh, employees with the then ITC, right? He eventually uh, became a director and then um, <coughs> in the mid 90s uh, assumed leadership of uh, ITC at that point of time it was very interesting because he was wanting to take ITC into areas other than tobacco but the parent organization did not want to do that and therefore there was a huge uh, challenge within the organization uh, between let's say ITC India and the parent organization as to who would have control what the future of the organization would be and how the organization would grow also at that point of time there were some challenges about the foreign exchange management act and uh, in fact a lot of people say at this point of time that the demands under that act were three or four times the total profitability of uh, itc but what uh, mr deveshwar managed to do in over those years is actually get not only establish control over the firm but then begin this transition from a purely tobacco and cigarette company into a multi business conglomerate 
Deveshwar used all his skills to fight the messy battle with BAT, rebuild ITC's reputation in the media and investor community, get out of the financial service business and refocus the management's attention to actually running ITC. The strong impetus he gave has made ITC synonymous also with luxury hotels, agri-business, paper and paper boats, branded apparels and lifestyle retail, agarbattis, packaged foods and personal care. It is now a multi-product, hugely diverse conglomerate with tobacco just being a part of it. Deveshwar was among the first CEOs to tap into India's vast countryside by way of his unique e chopal concept linking directly with farmers via the internet for procurement of products and by entering the FMCG space in rural areas. Why see Deveshwar or we all know as the Yogi? Uh, he joined ITC in 1968 and he became executive chairman in 1996. He is considered to be the longest serving chairman of any company. Uh, I mean, uh, he continued till 2017. So for a period of 21 years, he continued as the executive chairman. And even after 2017, he became non-executive chairman of the company. Uh, if you talk about his vision, if you talk about his contribution in changing the perception about ITC. I mean, whenever earlier, whenever we were thinking about ITC, the only thing which came in our mind is a tobacco company. It's a company which is manufacturing cigarette in, in the country. But he changed that perception and ITC became not just a cigarette producing or the cigarette manufacturer company, it became a conglomerate. It became a company starting from hotel industry or the hospitality industry to the paper industry, to the packaging industry. And most important contribution which he gave uh, in the history of Indian corporate, that called e Chopal. Deveshwar received Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian award in 2011. He was also ranked the seventh best performing CEOs in the world by the Harvard Business Review. This global recognition acknowledges Deveshwar's vision and inspiring leadership in transforming ITC into a leading, diversified, multi-business Indian conglomerate and in making ITC a global exemplar in sustainable and inclusive growth, contributing significantly to national priorities. He has led ITC to become 35 billion US dollar market cap company with a turnover of over 7 billion dollars. ITC is also the only company in the world to be carbon positive, water positive and solid waste recycling positive. Amongst several other awards and recognitions during his distinguished career, Deveshwar has been honoured with the Global Leadership Award by the US-India Business Council of the US Chamber of Commerce in 2010, the Business Leader of the Year Award from All India Management Association in 2012, Business Person of the Year Award 2006 by the UK Trade and Investment and the Sustainability Leadership Award 2007 conferred by Zurich at the International Sustainability Leadership Symposium. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. YC Deveshwar's contribution to industry needs to be placed in context. When Deveshwar took over as chairman of ITC in 1996, India's economy was in the flux of change. The business environment was adjusting to an unprecedented overhaul of old as well as new reforms. Just how these reforms affected corporates of the era also in part forms the ITC story. We leave you with this report that takes a look at the business environment of the day that Deveshwar worked on successfully to diversify and transform ITC's core business to make it what it is today. Thank you very much for your time. India, the world's largest economy, is on its path to optimizing its potential of becoming the world's leading global economy. The steady growth that India has witnessed since the mid-1990s was ushered in through much-needed reforms and policies. 
The 1990s saw far-reaching changes in India's economic policy. A severe balance of payments crisis at the beginning of the decade triggered wide-ranging reforms in economic policy during the early 90s. These reforms brought about a swift turnaround in India's external sector and catalyzed an unprecedented spurt in economic growth during the five years between 1992 and 1997. The fruits of government policy thrusts soon became apparent. Since 1991, India's GDP has quadrupled. Its forex reserves have surged from $5.8 billion to $279 billion and exports from $18 billion to $178 billion. These are just numbers, but for a layman, it came in the form of a lifestyle change. Back in 1991, owning a Maruti 800 that cost 1.48 lakh rupees in Delhi was a middle-class status symbol. Scooters like Bajaj Chetak and Lambretta accounted for more than half of the two-wheelers sold in the country. A bottle of soft drink, be it local versions like Gold Spot or Camper Cola, cost just about 4 rupees 50 paise. And after a decade, by 2001, we became the biggest consumption engine of the world as we guzzled colas, downloaded music and drove around in sedan vehicles. FDI, mainly from the UK, the US, Germany and Japan, started to drive a positive growth. Even contribution of the services sector to the GDP increased swiftly. The attractiveness of India as a preferred investment destination could be ascertained from the large increase in FDI inflows to India, which rose continuously from year to year. And when he joined uh, ITC and when he became chairman in 1996, it was just five years after liberalization of Indian economy. So at that time, it was not that easy. It was the corporate, working in a corporate was not an easy thing to do. But he succeeded in converting the culture of corporate as a corporate with much brighter human face. That's the biggest contribution which UP has uh, done for the Indian corporate. India's growth in recent years has been supported by prudent macroeconomic policy, a new inflation targeting framework, energy subsidy reforms, fiscal consolidation, higher quality of public expenditure and a stable balance of payment situation. In addition, recent policy reforms have helped India improve the business environment, ease inflows of foreign direct investment and improve credit behaviour. As of today, India's economy is now more integrated with and dependent on the global economy than ever before. With inputs from Asta Kulshresht, Bureau Report, Rajasabha TV.